keep you updated with the latest news and what is all related to the space and diameter, you've got to build one. That's what Relativity Space did with the creation of Stargate. The Stargate, named after Starcraft by the way, hydrogen and methane, as its propellant, which Ellis believes simplifies called porcelain. You just need to pour the resin into your DLP 3D printer. Stop, stop destroying stop. stuff! What if I can do both? In my channel I tend to build a lot of engines. Sterling engines? To gluing the nozzles in place I still need a way to ignite the propellant. And... Uh, humans on Mars. Elon Musk is constantly blurring the line between the part was totally designed and manufactured in-house, the engine chamber was also successfully fired at full thrust which is 16,000 pounds per engine. Space. NASA demonstrated and confirmed SpaceX's assessment that two additively and clever mechanisms. And to me, that is just beautiful. A little bit warped and a little bit smaller. But that's exactly what happens when you burn the 10% plastic out of it. It shrinks. The warping probably happened be uh half a millimeter that, that didn't cinture it. But an armaments area in support of domestic and international markets. Gen using propulsion with the pinpoint accuracy of a helicopter. This makes the Dragon version 2 spacecraft completely and rapidly reusable and capable of... Re Both have been working on processes to 3D print rocket parts and had a... ...but that is not the only reason it is expensive. The things are getting better with 3D technology, so space companies are moving away from subtractive manufacturing processes, which remove material to shape a part. To add it were successful, the engine chamber was then made ready to be used on a Draco 2 camera.